You're watching News 8 on WROC. I've got Matthew Kemp with me, and we are talking about Dear Evan Hansen coming to the Auditorium Theater April 12th through the 17th. Uh, Matthew, it's great to have a few minutes with you. Uh, let's get it Thanks right for out of the me. way. Yeah, let's get it right out of the way. Folks at home need to know, hey, you're a Fairport grad, you're part of the show, and you're coming home. Pretty exciting, isn't it? It's very, very exciting. I've wanted to always play the Auditorium Center before, um, and I'm from the class of 2015 from Fairport High School, so I'm very excited to come back. I always wanted to play it. Uh, I'm sure you've seen shows there through the years. Now you're going to be up on the stage. Uh, look, yeah. uh, performing, there's always an element of nerves, I guess, but does this heighten that for you? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I guess I'm a little lucky because the character that I portray is a little bit anxious inherently. So I'll be able to channel my nerves into that sort of energy. So I think it will only help me. Um, but I think right before I go on stage for the first time, um, I will be a little bit nervous. But I'll turn that into excitement, you know? Yeah, I do. Uh, dear Evan Hansen, uh, you're going to play Evan in two of the shows. Mm -hmm. It's the Saturday matinee and the Sunday evening yep. show. Uh, that's yes. pretty exciting, too, I would think. Yeah, I'm very, very excited. Um, one of our Evans is on vacation, so the schedule changed up a little, uh, a little bit, and I'm able to have two shows. Very excited about it. This show uh, took hold of Broadway shortly after you graduated from high school, uh, racked up a bunch of Tonys, including, including Best Musical. Uh, yep. For our viewers, what is it about this story that is so captivating? Um, wow, okay, two words that I think stick with me are connection and forgiveness. I think, um, especially after the pandemic, it's the whole message of you are not alone and there's always going to be someone that can connect with you on some level. It sings true to me. Um, and forgiveness at the end of the musical, especially. I'm not going to give anything away. Yeah. Um, but the last scene in particular is very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, uh, critics just can't say enough about this show. Uh, we can't wait no. to see it in Rochester. You booked this gig, what, a couple of weeks after graduating yeah. from college. Man, yep. what a way to get into the biz, huh? <laughs> yeah, really. I had just graduated. We did our showcase in New York City. And I think two weeks after showcase, um, I was in my final callback for this, found out I booked it, and then just had the summer in New York. Um, with friends and then was out on the road. We started in D.C. when I started on the tour at the Kennedy Center. Um, it, it's been an absolute journey. It's awesome. One, la <laughs> one last one before we let you go. You know sure. that there are a lot of youngsters watching this interview who are just like you just a few short years ago. You're living proof mm -hmm. that if you have a dream, you can make it come true, aren't you? Absolutely. Um, I'd say the biggest thing is be prepared. You know, do your work beforehand and just always be ready for any opportunity that will come your way. I didn't know this audition was coming, um, but I happened to have my book ready to go and monologues prepared, and I was just absolutely ready to nail that audition when it came. Man, what a great message for all of us. Matthew, it's great to spend a few minutes. Can't wait for your arrival in Rochester and to see you up yes. on the stage with dear Evan Hansen. Good luck, man. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Again, April 12th through the 17th, see Matthew Kemp and the rest of the cast and Dear Evan Hansen. Get your tickets now, rbtl.org. That link on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.